Hello, hello everyone. Welcome once again today to a discussion about the 2021 summer anime season. Today, we'll be talking about how a realist hero rebuilt the kingdom. So, this is another of the isekai that are coming out <laughs> this season. Uh, it's actually the last one that we'll be discussing this season. Uh, I feel like there was five total isekai that came out this season, and this one was one of my favorites. Uh, and it was a very interesting concept. Normally, with isekai, and I think I say this every time there's an isekai discussion, you have a hero or something who was summoned, and then their goal is to get back to their home. Uh, in this particular case, it does not seem to be the case. Uh, Soma, uh, Soma Kazuya, he is summoned by a kingdom that is uh, basically in financial ruin. Uh, their citizens are facing a food shortage and various other problems. Uh, and the whole like world, or the continent that they're on anyway, is being threatened by uh, the forces of the demons who are occupying a large amount of territory up north, and the whole of humanity is kind of united against them. Uh, well, not just humanity, it's like the, the mortal races, I suppose, would be the non-demon races, essentially, um, are united against the demons, and as such, uh, each kingdom is forced to pay tribute to the empire, which is doing the most work against the demons uh, and such. And they can do so in, like, I think, providing troops, giving monetary stuff, or giving food, that kind of stuff. Uh, but since the kingdom is poor, uh, there's a leeway where if you can summon a hero, you can give the hero to the empire. However, in this case, Soma decides to help the kingdom and talks them into allowing to help them to provide the empire with the aid that they need to not have to give him over to them. Uh, because basically he's figuring, like, if you send me over now, the next time you have to do it, you're going to have to summon someone else, right? And that kind of stuff. Uh, so essentially, what happens is he becomes king of this kingdom because the current king yields the throne to him due to his, like, knowledge and abilities and all that kind of stuff. And so Soma, the acting king of this country, goes out and starts to increase the country's, like, value and all that kind of stuff. He, uh, you know, he, he summons people from all reaches of the kingdom regardless of their, you know, social upbringing, their, you know, social status, anything like that. He says, if you have abilities, come to the kingdom and I will put them to use. And so he gets, you know, people from, uh, you know, royal families. He gets random people who know stuff about food. And he gets, you know, a poverty-stricken child that was driven from her home because of the war uh, and stuff like that. And they all have unique abilities that he puts to use to better the kingdom. Uh, one such guy knows a lot about food, for example, and because they're facing a food shortage, he's pretty much the most important figure at that particular moment in time, since he uh, is able to go around and find these unique uh, different food types that can be implemented for people in the various areas of the country who are facing the food shortage. Um, but other than that, Soma does basic normal, like, king stuff. He uh, devises plans and efforts to, you know make the kingdom better and all that kind of stuff from infrastructure to policy to various other just like uh entertainment kind of things going on uh, essentially it's him building a kingdom and if you've heard my previous talks about isekai you'll know that when a person gets summoned to another world and they don't just like not care about the world but they like try to rebuild it or like make it better that's my jam that and when the heroes like are bastards and like, just decide to like fucking kill the goddess or something like that for example those are great uh, but that's not the case in this one um, in this it seems to be a tale about Soma who has no family in his previous world getting summoned to this one and forming bonds with the people in this world so he doesn't actually want to leave um, and making the country better it is uh, very cool I enjoyed it thoroughly it was always entertaining seeing what he would do. There's just one thing that kind of bugs me about the whole series. He's a 19-year-old kid, and he, he's just 
apparently an aspiring civil servant. Um, however, he, he knows way too much, I feel, for a 19-year-old kid. He's way too good at, like, politics. So it's, like, a little unbelievable, but it's okay because it's an anime, of course. Uh, I'm throwing it out there. Anyway, it has not been confirmed. I do not believe if there's a second season, but goddamn if I don't want one. Because they set up, like, a, a perfect way for there to be a second season. Uh, there's, like, unresolved stuff at the end. And it's like, it feels like just the end of another episode. Like, I'm just waiting for the next one to come out next week. But uh, it's currently not. Uh, yeah. It's definitely one to watch uh, if you enjoy Isekai. Hell, if you just enjoy fantasy stuff, it's, it's good to watch. Because um, it's not one of those goody-goody heroes just going around slaying the demon lord. Stuff like that. In fact... If I had to make a guess about how the rest of the story plays out, I would guess that Soma somehow unites humanity and then somehow negotiates with the Demon King and makes peace. Like, not necessarily negotiates with him, but, like, outplays him militarily, perhaps, as well, and, like, forces him to surrender and stuff like that. Um... Because I'm sure the Demon Lord is, like, invading because the Demon's, like, home world or whatever the hell it is, uh, is, like, suffering from possibly, like, a food shortage or something like that. And that's why they're trying to gain more territory. It's nothing necessarily bad. Uh, and that's kind of alluded to in a couple, well, in one specific point in the uh, first season here. Uh, it seems like there's a scene where it seems like the Demons aren't necessarily all bad. And they're not less whole, like, we'll kill everything kind of race. So I'm thinking that might be what goes down. Anyway, that's going to be all for me on this one, everyone. I definitely enjoyed it, definitely recommend it, and definitely want to see another season for it. So check it out. Until next time, everyone, I will catch you all later. Bye for now.